Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. Okay, so what we have here is just a blatant display of just cultural and moral rot. Um, if you didn't know, I did a previous video talking about this. And I might be beating a dead horse at this point, but the mainstream media didn't cover this at all, really. I mean, they did it initially, but they let the story kind of die because it wasn't a white guy. But, a, you know, basically a, a brother walked into his place of employment, uh, Molson Coors uh, factory, which is in my city, my home city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and he opened fire and killed five people and then turned the gun on himself. Um, since that happened, black, the black Twitter verse, the black Facebook verse has been basically, I mean, flat out just supporting the dude, encouraging what he did, applauding the dude, just treating him like a folk hero of sorts. This Nat Garvey guy is a prime example of that. He goes, I didn't know you, sir, but I'm sad you had to endure the blatant discrimination and racism at your place of employment. Not only did your life come to a tragic end. So he leads with how it's not a tragedy that the five employees, the mostly white dudes, got shot. But he, the initial tragedy, the way he sees it, is that he died, the shooter. But also the ones who bullied and ridiculed you while you were trying to provide for your family. This is an unfortunate event, but brother, I will never demonize you for what you've done. So, I, I guess, I mean, black people's tribal in-group preference is such that even with a blatant example of just mass murder, if, if they can, I guess, surmise, like subjectively that racism had something to do with it. They just completely view it as justifiable. Um, and he won't demonize him for, for mass murder. That, that's just astounding to me. Uh, he continues though. Some of us African Americans in Wisconsin already know racism was behind it. Once we found out the shooter was black, that's all he needs. Really? Let this be a lesson for anybody who tries to disrespect us in the workplace or in general. You don't know the mental stability of the individual you're bullying. <laughs> wow, man. So basically, respect us, gives us, you know, handouts, give us promotions, you know, let us slack off at work. Because I think that's another thing that was alleged about this guy is that he was at the plant for like 20 plus years, but he got fired and rehired. There was a whole like to do about it. But people said that he was like a shitty worker, like whatever, like that, that just goes to show that it really didn't have anything to do with racism. This guy is saying, give us all of that. Or we might just open fire on you because <laughs> I guess he's tacitly, if not flat out admitting that there's sort of like a mental virus going on here, just collectively um, or a cultural virus or decay of some sort. I don't know. Y'all don't like us well if you didn't know some of us don't like y'all either, but we can still be civil and work together without mofos placing nooses and spade cards of his locker. Because they allege that um, they basically allege that he experienced like nooses and spades on his locker at work, which I don't know, man. Any aside from seeing any sort of video or photographic evidence, I just dismiss any sort of racism claims having to do with nooses at this point. Like those, those are pretty much almost always hoaxes, and you know I'm just gonna treat them as such until proven otherwise. Like my granddad used to say, them mofos had it coming. Now where's the GoFundMe for that man's family? Because you know the colonizers going to set one up for their fallen. Dudes, see, this is just, this just belies just this mental sickness amongst urban youths, let's just say. Celebrate the murderer, the mass murderer, right? And just opine about giving his family money via a GoFundMe. So we got, you know, right, fact, that's right, you know. Rest well, warrior. <laughs> what? You know, we got your standard, we was Kangs. 
type stuff. Wait a minute, they can did what? They did because they was putting spade cards on his locker in the 20s. They would call black men spades or call them blacker than the ace of spades. They also was putting nooses on his locker and fired him after 20 years of service. And he had complaints about the discrimination in the workplace. They fired him and he came back and pow, I guess. They view this as inevitable, right? Like if if a black man or woman perceives racism, they just view it as like a no brainer that they might flip out violently and to not accept that, I guess, is further racism. Like, so, so the act of not accepting like a violent act on you for being racist is also racist. <laughs> like that's, that's the vibe. That's so fucked up. They love to push and push and push, but when we snap, they want to play victim. That breaks my heart. Wow. I think your heart is pumping sludge, dude. My heart is broken. He was suffering and no one to turn to. People have to mind how you treat somebody. You never know what that person is going through. I bet he was a kind person. Lord, I pray that we as black Americans will be all right. This hate is real. Man, I agree 100%. Tagging people in. This LaVita Booker. Wow. This queen right here. What does Z have to say? Safe travels to the 51-year-old brother who shot them racists as white boys yesterday. May the ancestors receive you well. So it's just flat-out celebration. To five white racist men who lost their lives because you kept fucking with Maine. Hung a hangman noose on his locker. Continue with racist rants and antics knowing the company will uphold your behavior. You know, wow, that's what you get. That's what you get. Booker straight up. Queen. Yas Queen. They were all white. Yes, indeed they were. So they're celebrating the fact. They're celebrating the fact that the victims were white. That's what's going on here. Oh no, it was a Hispanic gentleman as well, but obviously he played a part in intimidation and racial inequality as well. The racial inequality and intimidation that we have no proof for, not even that I'm entertaining the notion that it's okay or justifies it, but there's no evidence of this. They just assume it's there because they're crazy. They're collectively crazy, just culturally crazy. He also shot a black coworker. I guess he must have been racist too. So this person's kind of pushing back, but not meaningfully. More white lives, absolutely wrong. White lives. So this is, this is just like arguing about, you know, because a, a Hispanic and a black guy were killed in the shooting and a woman. But they, they literally, they don't care if white people get shot. In fact, they celebrate it. So like, but th this is their argument, not whether or not it was okay for this guy to do that. Nobody's pushing back on that front. They're pushing back on whether or not it was justified based on the race of the victims. So if they're white victims, it's fine. If they're black victims, it's not fine. Let me just, yeah, recording, just double checking. Sit on the news. They don't want people giving the shooter any more reconnaissance. They only want people to extend thoughts and prayers. Wasn't he a victim? No. No, he definitely was the victim, Ernie. They bullied him repeatedly during his time of employment there. They're trying to paint the picture of him being this crazed black guy, which he very much was because he shot five people and himself. Like they all media platforms do, the racial tension at his place of employment was enough to push him over the edge. I wish it was more people like you. You obviously see the big picture. Damn, dude. So black people will straight up just publicly, and also, might I add, with no repercussions so far, like, this post has been up for roughly a day or two. Post hasn't been taken down. Talking about contributing to any GoFundMes. So Gibbs, I will contribute very, you know. Breaking point. Nat Garvey. This guy is a real piece of work. They think we're all just crazed. Mm, bleeps. 
They always throw rocks and hide their hands. They provoke that man until the point he felt he had to level the playing field. Throw rocks, huh? Interesting, like throwing rocks at firemen or at cops or like at, you know, convenience store owners while you're looting, like th throwing rocks like that. No black man is just going to snap for no reason. Uh, 1350, dude. No reason. I mean, like, very trivial reasons, like, made up perceived nooses. Like, if black people will see nooses, like, they'll see, like, a shoelace and think it's a fucking noose. And then they'll take a picture of it and fucking throw it up on Twitter. And then threads like this will happen. And they'll just straight up start celebrating the death of, like, white people and cops. These people, man, what? Especially after working 20 years and got a whole family at home, they pushed the man to the brink. They most definitely did. Like people need to understand, just because it's not something that would make you snap, don't mean it's going to be the same for the next person. We don't know what he meant through mentally. Man, ranking points. So just he had no 100, 100. He had no choice. 100. People need to leave people the fuck alone. Start to go fund me straight. Wow, Yas Queen. <laughs> Can't keep messing with people. Damn. I would snap on these people if it was on my locker. A lot of people that perhaps should be on watch lists. Oh, this is interesting. The city is very quiet about this one, and the real tragedy is he reported this, and the workplace did not do anything about it. Yeah, the real tragedy is that so-called racism was untreated. The un like the racism that has no proof was not dealt with. Not the fact that six people are dead. This man is a hero. Just a flat-out celebration. Yikes! Yikes! Department. A show, lots of shock cores, funeral costs, and living expenses. There's a GoFundMe. Man, I guess if you're a black family, all you got to do to get rich is be related to a mass murderer, and then you become, uh, you get a lot of black people that, I guess, rather than investing in their own communities, want to, again, fund GoFundMe of the family of a mass murderer. He did what a lot of y'all be in the parking lot talking about, and then they come to the job and kiss their ace. This is what needs to happen from here on out. I bet if we truly rise up and sort of rebel and demand respect, I bet shit change. We've got to realize our power in numbers, which is pretty much the only power you have. Uh, they never give a fuck about us. They give they ace 20 years and endure bullshit. None of, I mean, that was just a mangling of the English language, you know? I'm not a Nobel laureate myself, but jeez. Nat Garvey, he's a hero in my eyes. He's a hero. His death isn't in vain, even though I'm sad he isn't here anymore to enjoy his life with his family. Over them saltines, saltines playing games with his livelihood. Man, oh man. So Morlean is fighting back a little bit. Well, to some of us, there's a happy ending to the story with a little added humor. I feel the punishment was just. So the punishment for being racism or being racist, sorry, is death. That's 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 what these people are saying, just unanimously. <sighs> wow. To some of us, he's a hero. I honestly couldn't sympathize with the five POS. They harassed him. They got what they got, and I can't lie, it brings a smile to my face. Out of all the hundreds of millions they killed of our people, they got nerves to be mad. Whew. So this guy, I mean, yep. Oh, look. Devin Tracy. Atheism is unstoppable, getting tagged in. He, of all people, should do a video about this incident to help it not get buried. I mean, the mainstream media buried the story. This is a black mass murderer, not a white mass murderer. doesn't fit the narrative. Prayers and GoFundMes for your family. Sympathy for the 
killer because of an undocumented incident of supposed racism on the job. Yikes. I hope he took out all the right ones. Man, this just makes me freaking like extra black pilled, man. Extra, extra black pilled, man. Prayers, prayers, prayers. Just kind of reminds me of these other screen caps that I found. <sighs> because black people don't shoot up shit, white people do. That's why. And you know it's true. Uh, no. FBI.gov. Uh, it's comments like this, why people do the kind of stuff he did, why I try to trigger people. You talk to all women like that, what if, what? It's just, it's just nonsense. It's just utter nonsense from these people. Nicholas, China, Yistad, sometimes we all want to shoot some racists. This is what these people are thinking. You're, you're a wrong thinker, you deserve to be murdered. And then the person who murders you should be celebrated. Man, I, I don't know what else to say, but th this is just, you know, this is cultural rot. This is cultural decay. Just on, on full display. And I'm left thunderstruck. But if you want to support this channel, you know, Subscribe, share, donate, whatever. I'll send out some stickers. I got these new holographic stickers that look pretty, pretty popping. But uh, other than that, subscribe, bitch. Subscribe, bitch. Worst. 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 Get out of my face! You are so fucking stupid, man!